So, as you can see by the thumbnail, we had a little bit of technical difficulties with the WRX. So, I don't know how it slipped by me or even how it happened, but um, I guess this hose has been rubbing for however long, I guess 2,000 miles, because I've got about 2,000 miles on this setup now. So, I was driving out of nowhere. I started hearing like a noise. I'm looking around like, what's going on? And I was like, somebody's blow drying somebody's hair hard with an AC compressor or, or something, whatever, just making hella noise. And I keep driving. I still hear it. I'm like, what's going on? So I'm like, oh no, my airline probably got a hole in it. I'm probably airing out as I'm driving. While I look down at my management, I'm not losing no air. So I'm like, what's going on? Next thing you know, I have smoke coming out of my hood. A lot of it. So I look down at the temperature. I'm sitting at like 230 degrees, 235 and I smell nothing but coolant. So I hurried up, shut the car off, boom, popped the hood, and that's where I found one of my radiator hoses on the back of the block where we did the uh, coolant mod had rubbed a hole from the steering shaft, just rubbing back and forth, back and forth, I guess for like the past 2,000 miles because it wasn't like that in the old setup. So hopefully we're good. I'm going to replace that hose today and the rebirth the system, put coolant in it, and hope for the best. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Plus... It's New Year's Eve, and we got a little shindig to go to tonight, so stay with us, stay with us. Honestly, we should be fine. I mean, the head gasket won't blow to about 255, 260 degrees, so hopefully we have no problems. All I should have to do is take the hose off right now. That hose came with a kit. I forgot what coolant mod kit that was. I can't think of it, but I know I can match it up from one of the auto parts stores, so I'm not really worried about it. But hopefully I can replace that hose rebleed the system and have no future issues hopefully i didn't mess nothing up fingers crossed because i don't want to go through that again i told myself if that motor's junk because i blew a head gas or something i'm not rebuilding it i'm doing something crazy so fingers crossed like i said before all i want to do is replace it burp the system and hopefully we're good so stay positive for me guys i need it i need some love Woo. hello good looking how you doing today I hope you're not broken, but if you're broken, I might throw you away. Just kidding. I would never do that to you, but I'm tired of your problems. All right, so we got to hurry up. I need to hurry up, air it up, drive it around, hurry up and put on a lift before it overheats because I'm sure there's no cooling in here at all. I'm sure it's been everything I had on the ground, under the car. So. Got on the lift. It's always mad sketchy doing this by yourself. Super, super sketchy. To get it to line up, stop and get out, stop and get out. But we're on there. So I need to pop the hood, let this thing cool off, pull that hose off, and then replace it. All right, so um, it wasn't a coolant mod hose. It was my heater core hose that had hit the steering shaft. And I guess that would be considered my fault. So let me show you. Well, I show you, you can't laugh at how I rigged it up just so I could get it home or to the shop. So if you laugh, just, uh, yeah, I don't care. If you, if you can see, let me put the light down. Swag right here. It had sat down and it started rubbing on this. I guess after 2,000 miles, it was just over it. So here's the coolant mod hose, which is what I thought rubbed this and it didn't. So I got to replace this hose right here and then tuck it out of the way so it don't hit. So what I might do is shorten this hose, bring this further this way, allowing this to not touch at all. But we'll see. So first things first, we got to remove this hose. Probably going to drain the coolant first so it don't blow all in my face. So found the issue horrible so now walking across the street to events hopefully have something similar and the same size so let's go so this isn't an exact fit but this is gonna work even better so at the angle it was at if this was a straight piece it'd be sitting down like how it was but this should angle it up and put it at the angle we need to have it sitting i know you can't see it but you'll get in a second all right so this is the hose we replaced, way better angle. Now you can see there's a lot of room under here now. 
went ahead and replaced these clamps along with that one back there tidied up the vacuum pump tube and should be good to go so next up we're gonna let the car down put coolant in it and we should be good hopefully like i said before fingers crossed i got it idling right now so we pretty much broke the system get all the air out of the out of the cooling system before i had a check engine light on for o2 sensor and the air pump was throwing a uh, check engine light too a code for that come to find out one of the little that clamp that was on it had slid back just a little bit and caused it i guess to have that leak which is what do that code so it's something i needed to address for the past couple days so we fixed that o2 sensor code and now we have no codes i need gas for sure and my tire lights on because i got my sensors and my stock wheels i never put them in these these wheels dumb definitely put your sensors in i need to stop playing around and stop being lazy i'm just gonna let it run let it do its thing get the air out of the system and hopefully we'll be good it's been running super healthy love this thing it's been running super super good all right so everything seems to be doing good it got all the way up to 203 the fans cut on it dropped back down to 196 so doing pretty good a lot of bubbles did come out of the system which it needed to obviously that's how that works but right now it's doing pretty good still no check engine light ap got on to me he's like man you ain't never got no gas look at his face getting the forerunner no gas getting here no gas the civic's full tank though because it's only got it's 30 bucks to fill it up this one's like 60 what is ours about 66 miles but whatever he's hating I'm at 194 right now, so it's doing pretty good. So, got it off the lift, everything's good, everything's topped off, it's running super good. So now, all we gotta do is test drive it, but other than that, no check engine lights, no nothing. Doing great, I'm excited, about to go drive it. We're doing good. So, it's the next day, it was New Year's Eve, so after we got done driving the car and doing what we had to do, we went out to a New Year's party and just had a blast. So now we're kind of recovering, but the car's still doing phenomenal. Now I'm heading back to the house. Only thing left to do is to clean this thing up. Nice and clean, super fresh. Got her back on the road 100%. Could be more excited. And boy, does she look good. So, uh, we just wanna wish you nothing but the best. 2023. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You guys stay safe, stay blessed.